Today marks the 51st anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s death. In his honor, more than 100 people walked in a unity march in Hampton this afternoon. I was there to see, and now to show you, how his legacy is still inspiring young people. People united will never be divided. They walk to honor Dr. Martin Luther King. People united will never be divided. And to inspire young people. We want them to know that Dr. Martin Luther King's dream was nonviolence, unity, justice, and everybody working together. The nearly two mile march was a bit more than some bargained for. I'm a little tired, but, but it's gotta be done. It's something that's necessary. Necessary to ensure we remember. This painting right here uh, signifies what we work, what Dr. King died for, what he worked for. This young man sees it clearly. I'm a big fan of Martin Luther King. I love him and appreciate him for everything that he's done for us to make way for us to be free, go to school, learn and everything, and I don't take it for granted at all. In fact, he literally wants to walk in Dr. King's footsteps. People united will never be divided. His dream is to become a preacher, and he's already using Instagram as his pulpit. I use it to be inspirational, to be motivational. What he's doing, what they're all doing as they march over MLK Bridge is an effort to build more bridges. All people are one people. It does not change. We all need to stick together, band together, and stay together. Never be divided. The world needs love, not hate. And so Dr. King's legacy marches on with no end in sight. We'll do it again next year and the year after that, and this generation will carry it on. And there was a short program halfway through the march where young people spoke about Dr. King's dream and what it means to them. The march ended at the historic 1619 marker where the first enslaved Africans arrived.